Welcome everyone to another one of these odd videos. Um, the real world. Ooh. Yes, we are back in the weird corner, the weird cubby corner thing of my room. Sadly, today we're not going to be looking at these. Today we're not looking at diets. We're looking at doctors. Classic doctors to be specific because they have so bloody many of them. We're going to have to split these up in two parts. Kind of like what we did with the uh, with the Tardis video. We'll, uh, the Gmail Tardis video. We'll split them up into classic and new who, and we'll see. Or goes and try to wobble the desk because that does wobble the camera because the camera is on this little table thing I have. So first up we have the first doctor. These are the two first doctors I own. These are the only two I own and yes they're quite the same. Um, we have this one which we'll bring up first. This is the first doctor from, it's from the Sensorites I believe. But my brain kept going with the web planet but I don't have the web planet because I have if you recognise this one, this is from the Eleven Doctors figure pack, which I do own, but I don't own the Thirteen Doctors one, which came with the Twelfth Doctor and the War Doctor. I don't have that set, sadly, but I do have the Eleven one because it had more variants of figures I wanted. So that's why. Um, is he going to stand? He is going to stand up. Good. Um, so here is the one from the Sensorites with the stick. I don't think it actually is this Doctor's stick, but this is what I have on display, so I gave him the stick. So it's they are the same figure except this one's got the blue necktie thingy and he's got the kind of burgundy trousers which the the web planet doctor has that's why i bring it thing is the web planet one but he also has a different colored uh necktie i think he's got a different color waistcoat as well he's got a little monocle uh that was like molded on and this is the one you see in the three doctors i believe which is the older one and you could tell because apparently when the doctor was in that time eddy thing of three doctors he got me of a suntan <laughs> there's a very different tone and the hair's it but Landa, you can tell which one's the more modern figure because it's got more detail like in the hair but these are the only two Hartnells I have so uh yeah I would have the David Bradley one and show that off here but that I, I would have that does that hasn't arrived thank you eBay for that but next up we have a uh, my my collection of second doctors and only two of them are actually from second doctor stories so I'm looking at these in the order they appear in the show not the order I got them so the first one we have is this, probably the most unique and interesting one, which is the uh, one from Abominable Snowman, which was a an exclusive to the Character Options website, which is the website which is the company that make the Doctor Who figures. This was exclusive on their uh, on their website, and it came with a special TARDIS. I might do a video looking at the TARDISes. I might do that sooner rather than later because actually, I should not look at all because I haven't got many. I've got any I haven't got any custom ones. Like I haven't made any custom. Figures. These are just figures you can buy if you have about a good thousand pounds, because Doctor Who figures do get exceptionally very, ex really, really expensive very, very fast. So apparently this figure was like a prototype for a very, very long time. Like they had the like, the mould of the coat for a very long time, but it's, they never really got that out of figure uh, until only, was it last year or so? Um, and it's quite nice, it's very nicely detailed, it's all very, feels very rough and bumpy, and you can kind of see in there, can I, ooh, can I zoom in? Oh, that's three times, there we go. You can kind of see there's a very faint uh, waistband, which is like a, it's more it's a very bright color the waistband the, the little bit is like a bit of string, and you can kind of see there what's meant to be the kind of knot where he ties in it, but um that you can't really see. I don't like isn't like they didn't color it differently, but I guess it was quite hard to do. Uh, and you can you still got the hands, but you can't really twist them. You can twist them, but you can't really do anything with them because the coat kind of overlaps. But it is a nice vet, and you can still see the the, the bow tie. There you go, you can see the oh, focus, there we go. You can still see the tie, the little bow tie and the shirt underneath, which is nice, which is nice. The other one I have from a second Doctor story is this guy, which is from the War Games, uh, which also came with the TARDIS. Um, yeah, the big thing about this one is he looks quite tatty. Um, so you can see the coat's really like, worn away and there's a little tear on the trouser leg here. Because of course, well, he's he's been running through like the First World War. And also, he, he's, I, I, this one I have on display, so he's got the fl he's got his recorder, which uh, we, this figure didn't come with. I think that one came with the recorder. Yeah, this guy, I, I, I quite like him. It's a bit. It's, it, it was the first one I got that was from an actual Troughton story because these two aren't from Troughton stories. Oh, I've killed, I've killed, I've killed one of my Pat Troughtons. So these two. So this one was from the Three Doctors, with the bright blue shirt and the weird necktie and the light grey trousers and his little, little booties, little booties, um, and yeah, it's not weird. I like how wide this, look at, look, look at this guy's eyes, compared to his eyes. Focus? Yeah, look, look, look how 
more wide and beady his eyes are. He's also got a bit of eyeliner as well, actually, look. He's got like a bit of eyeliner. This, was, this wasn't the first chat one they made, I think. I knew you could get, like, black and white ones back in the day, same with the Hartnell one, with certain figures. Like, I think they were, like, Comic-Con exclusives and stuff, but I don't have any of those because they probably cost about a £1,000 nowadays. <laughs> anyway, ooh, ooh. next is this one, which is a very interesting one because um, this is the Andragon second Doctor from the two Doctors. Now, if you had the 13 Doctor box, you got a reg you got the regular uh, Pat Troughton from that story. But this is the Andrigan one because it's just because they've just re they just repaid his eyebrows to be red. There's the, I think he gets moles as well, and he's not like he's, I think it was the thing was about like a top hat and a tailcoat in that story. But yeah, this just they've just uh, done the thing. I do have the the Perry in the Centauran from that set as well because they are they are, they are quite funny. Um, the Perry is quite funny because our arms are freakishly long. But um, you don't get a Colin, but you do get this Doctor with his bright red eyebrows. I just I, I think this is so funny. He just, he just looks really, really, like, more cross than he should. I'm watching Moonwalk Away. Next here are the my collection of three Doctors. Um, as you can see, there's aren't three of them. There are, in fact, is it six? There are six. Um, yeah, they, some of these are... Two of these are very dubious, and the other, other four are quite good. Anyway, so yeah, they, they aren't really the best, but I do quite like them. So this is the... This isn't the... The, that I think that was the first one I got, but this is the most recent. This is like the earliest one in terms of like their appearance of costume. This is from the Time Monster, and the big issue, if you know the Time Monster, that uh, this shouldn't be white. Should, in fact, this shouldn't be here at all because back when this figure was made, there was no put we designed for a shirt for an unbuttoned frill shirt. This one back here, if I tap on it, this guy he has got one, but. He didn't really have it, so we're gonna go. So because, like, well, the, that was that was that was quite a recent kind of uh, step forward in the art of Doctor Who figures. So they came with something the best they can. They just turned it white, and hopefully you didn't really notice. The shirt is you may have something like, oh, he's got a three Doctors one. Like, no, I don't have a three Doctors Pertwee, even though I have a three Doctors uh, Hartnell and Tratton, But the three, the, the third Doctor in that set was that guy, which is the one from Carnival of Monsters, because. Um, but it's quite, you can, because it's, it's very nice to have signature out because it's the red with the black piping and the weirder uh, buttons. And I don't know why there's a like little pocket here. Why is it not focusing properly? Why are you not focusing? There we go. Yeah, he's got this little like, pocket thing. And yeah, and also the, the paint's a bit scratched because it's, I've chucked it in a, in a box for a while. So I think after like being rummaging around and knocking about, so I have to chip away the paint. But I never liked it anyway because it's rubbish. Anyway. Be gone with you. So this is no this no this wasn't the first one. But this is the my this is the first one that I like. Um, this is the Carver Monsters one. Uh, so he's got the uh, the coat which you can take off. You can remove the coat if you wish to. And he's also got his uh, his riding boots because the the Doctor does love Viv because the, this Doctor is also part of a pony club or something. Um, he did come with a Sonic, but I appear to have lost it <laughs> somewhere. So that's fun. Um, but he looks quite suave. I don't know why they don't do um, a Frontier in Space third dog. It's this, it's this colour scheme, but with a bow tie. I don't think he has the boots. He just has like, regular shoes. But uh, yeah, I, I do like that one. So this is from uh, Planet of the Daleks, which is probably the most inaccurate figure apart from the Time Lords one. Because, well, the big thing is, I think he wears a bow tie, not like a little cravat thing. But the other big thing is the coat. And uh, now the two reasons. One, the coat in the story is like a corduroy kind of texture, not just like a regular kind of velvety one like he wears normally. And also it's double breasted, which means it goes over a bit, not like kind of just in the middle like this. So it's very inaccurate. This also was the first one I got, and I do hate it for its inaccuracies. So to the Shadow Realm with you. Uh, now these two I actually do quite like. Uh, these are both from series 11. This is the one from Invasion of the Dinosaurs, which is actually quite accurate, I think. This is probably one of the more accurate figures. I think it does look pretty good. And this is the one from Monster of Peladon, which I do prefer because I like the green. It's a nice dark green, but I think he wears a slightly different waistcoat in this uh, than uh, just the regular outfit. This is the more, the more regular one. He doesn't have the coat with this one. He does have a coat. It's like a kind of a blue kind of tartany kind of effect. Um, but because he doesn't have that in this set, he doesn't have that. I like, slightly broke the glue. And his coat's open, so you can open this coat dramatically, like, Fwa! Like that, it's like, Fwa! But you can see the, the little clasp where the buttons go. But, uh, yeah, you don't, you don't really notice it. Um, and that's what he's, which is probably the most interesting one I have. 
you can move them out of frame. How about that? A bit of professionalism, please, please. Thank you. Thank you. Don't fall over, John. We have this one, which is from the Five Doctors. And um, I do have the Satchel of this on display, but without the coat. Because you take the coat off. All like, wah, dramatic and sexy, but which I'm like, throw it away there. Fwah, fwah. Taekwondo, fire. No, I don't think even the stunt double could do that. Um, he has the unbuttoned shirt, because this is the most recent Pertwee figure you can buy. And apart from the weird red piping, it just looks like a series, that was it, series 8? Um, series 9 Pertwee? Um, you know, what Time Monster should be, really. Um, and it just looks quite nice as an extra figure. I'm pretty sure the shirt's meant to be a bit more grey than white. But I think that kind of adds to, well, not grey, like more kind of like a, more kind of tan, like a kind of more beigey kind of. I'm pretty sure there's maybe like a golden lining on the frills as well, but that's for a bit too fine a detail to put on this figure because they're only like about five inches tall. Anyway, time for the next Doctor. <laughs> These are seven, there should be eight, but one's broken, of my fourth Doctors. I have all of these because, you know, everyone loves the fourth Doctor. We'll start with you. This is the Regeneration fourth Doctor with a very new, this is a different head, I think. Is it a different head? I can't tell. Um, I think I think it is because the hair is very short, with his very bright red. Because his, his sideburns are a different colour to his wig. I don't think because I don't think he was wearing a wig. His sideburns were a lot lighter. But I think this is gonna have a bit of a extreme thing. And this is of course based on the Pertwee costume he wears in uh, Planet of Spiders, which of course isn't terribly accurate, but it's good enough. And they may see it and think, oh, but he had the unbuttoned shirt here, and this was made ages before the Five Doctor one. Why didn't they not have the unbuttoned shirt before? But if you listen closely, my uh, my 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 dear friends. That this uh, body sculpt is only designed for a fourth Doctor head, not a third Doctor head, which means they made a costume which can a third Doctor costume that can only be worn by the fourth Doctor, which is um, an Annette, uh, I a probably one of the weirdest decisions since uh, Project Red or whatever their name went. Yes, we can we can release Cyberpunk in this in its current state. It's quite it's quite off, but you, I got a quite a cool task with it, so who cares? Right, off you go. <laughs> Next one we have is my most recent one, which is, uh, excuse head because it is a uh, broken. Um, I have another one like in a similar condition, but it's even more broken. This one sort of still sits sort of well. Um, this is the fourth Doctor from Robot from his first series. So there's a nice version of his original costume. So he's got the uh, he's got the little. Actually, if I do take the head off, you can take the scarf off, so you can see everything else underneath. Um, see this peg, it should be poking out, but for some reason, it only what it only happens with these series twelve figures. The head like snapped, it's like the peg snapped. So the the scarf is useful to kind of cover up the join. So he does look a little bit taller. Um, he's got a bit of a giraffe neck, but never mind. So he's got the scarf. He's got the he's got the bright red coat. And the little cotton buttons on the back, and you can see the the weird floppy tie that doesn't go really in the shirt. And he's got the uh the little waist little cardigan thing. And the best thing is, he's the trousers. Look how detailed, because they were kind of like, really like cottony and fluffy. And this is the best way that the figure could get the kind of, it has this nice texture to it. Um, and it just makes it look so much nicer. Another another good one you can see is on the next figure. Put me down so your head doesn't come off. Um, which is uh, from series 13, actually. This is from uh, Terror of the Zygons with his hat, I can't remember the name of, with his big tartan scarf and the brand new head, which makes his face look gigantic. This looks ridiculous. Um, it's got the it's got the like waistcoat thing on underneath, but I don't know if he wore the tie like that in this story. I can't remember. And you've got the coat, and underneath you can see the the red of the jacket underneath. But also with this one, you can see I try to recreate that texture with just uh, how well it picks up on the camera. It's how well they've tried to capture the detail of those trousers. I think trying to capture the how the design how how it feels by texture. Of course, he's got his lovely brogues on. Now these two are also from series thirteen. Um, this uh, this one's my favorite. This is from Pyramids of Mars. I guess you could say it's like series fourteen, like Hand of Fear, Mask of Mandragora. But um, I do love this costume. I just I just I do love the coat. I love the color of it all. And he's got, look at you with his ridiculous grin. Look at him. Hello. <laughs> do you like a jelly baby? This is happy. And this is the one. I think this is meant to be from. Uh, specifically Seeds of Doom, because he's got the green hat, and he's got the little 
red and white brogues on and he's got the the kind of grey uh, I'm waiting for them to redo this figure like the series 12 one I'm waiting for them to redo these figures because this one I mean because I mean the texture of the coat because these are the same coat but this one's got this lovely texture to kind of recreate that kind of woolen uh, look not yeah that's the one, not cotton woolen kind of thing but um it's just, I think it's a bit too bright compared to what it is on the show it's very dark it's more, more darker gray you see on the show and it's a really miserable look because I don't know why he's smiling because he's really miserable with pyramids and Mars um you know because he, he he's faced the fact he has to essentially fight a god but um yeah this guy looks quite normal because he's quite moody because he has to fight a gigantic plant um <laughs> with the help of a Boise for Money Falls and Horses which is an interesting interesting uh, combination uh, the next two are these. Actually, what do we need next? This is a quite a unique one, as you can see. This is from the towns of Wang Chiang. So he's got the kind of uh, got the coat. Now this is interesting because again, this is another third Doctor. And it took me a while to realise why. And the thing that kind of led me to discovery is the is the gloves. So as you can see, the gloves are just regular hands painted grey, which means whereas in there you can see his fingernails. So he just looks like he's got blue hands. And he also on this one he has a ring. You can see he's like this molded a ring. I was like, I thought I was wear a ring. And then I realized he's got the frilled sh he's got the frilled cuffs. It's a third doctor figure. Because the it's because it's a this is a, a third doctor coat cloak they've just chucked on. The only thing he's missing is his is his deer stalker hat. Um but this is what he wears. And it's a weird thing that the foot is the only real era is the Victorian era that the doctor tends to dress up for. I mean not all of them do it, like, but most of them do, like four does it. Um uh Five, six, or seven don't. Um, but eleven did in Crimson Horror. He dresses up, and I guess also in the Snowmen as well. Uh, and in Thin Ice, um, Capaldi dresses up for for the Victorian era. So the Doctor's, uh, I mean, and the first Doctor dressed up quite a bit as well back in the day. Like, um, but for like all time periods, like for the Romans, he went around in like a, he went around like a toga <laughs> for the whole time. But it's like, is there any way the Victorian era that the Doctor tends to dress up for? Which is quite quite odd. I mean, not all of them do, but most of them do. And it's only for the Victorian era, which is interesting for the new Doctor for the fifteenth, because he's always he, like a lot of the, like already in two of the episodes in the series, he's got cap period clothing on, which is I think gonna be a nightmare for the figures, but it's gonna be quite fun. So this is another one of my favourites. This is from Sharda specifically, but I guess you could also say it's from Nightmare of Eden or maybe some of the key to time ones like um maybe oh I don't know. Uh, Androids of Tara, maybe Stones of Blood as well. Of course, Stones of Blood he's not wearing his little uh, court wig. And also, the rest of with this kind of more floppy scarf, it's a lot easier to take off, so you can see the rest of the jacket. Um, also, I think, I'm pretty sure the waistcoat there should be coloured in as well. That should be like a brown, but yeah. This one also came with the TARDIS, and I, I do love it. He's got, I like, I like the big boots and stuff he's wearing as well. You can't move his thighs, this one. You can only move, oh, because you can move his boots. That's why you can do that. Roman, I've had a terrible accident. You can do that instead of move his thigh, you can move his ankles. And I love the scarf, the scarf. Oh, so nicely, oh, look at that, so nicely detailed. It just slops around. I have a Romana from Destiny of the Dark as well, and she has a scarf. And, it, and it's, it's all like thin and white. And it reminds me of like the fondant you get inside a strawberry pencil. Like, um, but yeah, I do like this one. Also, cause I like it because he hasn't got a hat. Like, all the ones I have have hats. This is the first one I had that didn't have a hat as well. And he just, he just looks so cool. I mean, his, his arm's a bit funny because of the scarf, but it's like, hello, yes. <sighs> Run away! Uh, this is quite definitely the most blandest lineup in the world because this is my five doctors. <laughs> They're all the bloody same. So this is uh this is the one from this is just a traditional series nineteen. So this is what this is how he looks. Um, there's no there was no specific episode because this is from the eleven doctors box. There's no specific uh, story that he's meant to be from. There's no like def defining features. Um, but he's got he's got everything. He's got little red shit. He's got the question marks. You can kind of see under the coat. He's got a little bit of the, the decorative vegetable. Come on, put the decorative vegetable in focus. Come on, the decorative vegetable. And his little oh, look look at him. Look at his innocent face. Look at his look at his happy face. And he's like bright white cricket shoes. I don't know how he no how under it. How he kept it all so clean for so long. And his trousers look like the old plastic McDonald's straws <laughs> with the red and the white. Uh, this not a frame. This one is from this does have a this is from the visitation and this one does have a Sonic. I think he came with the other doctor's side. I get this one. I have the sweater. Came with a Sonic. I don't know, this is the visitation story where he break he where he has a Sonic broken and he just never thinks to replace it. 
until I don't know until this until another like another like two bodies later he decided to replace it because Seven Doctor did have Sonic in the TV movie and all he does with it is lock a chest and then you just never use it because he's lost it the whole story. But it's, I do quite like something. I like the little gold band and the little bit in the middle. I quite like it. But this one, of course, the only real difference is he's got a hat on. <laughs> and this is like so many years are between these two figures' releases, but really there's no real difference. Oh, apart from that, that one's got a, a red band of shoes on the job, and that one has like a brown one. I, I never noticed that. So there is a difference. I think other oh, trousers are pretty different. That's why the cards are a bit sharper, but they're pretty similar. This is from Earthshock. And you see his hair's a lot darker. And the main reason it tells him on the part is because he's got a lot of mud on him. Now, he doesn't really have a lot of mud. I get the mud on the shoes, but he's got all this mud on his back as well. I think it's just to tell the figure apart from this, another Series 19 figure. But I think it was also because he's running around that cave, you know, he's getting all muddy because he's being, like, tossed on the ground by um, uh, by the soldiers. He's being, like, shot at by androids. He's diving behind rocks. He's going to get a bit mucky. You, I, I, mean, I think he is on the on the costume in the story, but it's never this kind of uh, prominent. I think it's supposed to be the right word if I didn't have my thumb in the middle of the lens like this. Um, and also the the set this came with does also come with the bomb that you have to disarm, which I think is a lovely detail because you don't really get kind of props like that really in the B and M figures. You just get the figures on their own, which is fine. But I just like the little extra stuff. Yeah. So this is the first one, first fifth Doctor figure I've got. This is from Resurrection of the Daleks. And you can tell this is from his later series, he's got the different jumper. He's got the green shirt, not the one with the bit of red. Also, this one is actually wrong. Because if you look at this figure, you see he's got the little red insides on the shirt. And on this one, there aren't any. Look, there's no red on the inside. I actually, I actually went back to the shop and looked at other Earthshock figures. And it that is wrong. There should be red on the inside. I, I, I've, got, I've got a dodgy fifth doctor. But actually, this means it's just unique. I've got a unique fit on this, unless some other Gibbons got broken, got a dodgy one as well. But um, yeah, if if I if I noticed in the shop, I would have put it back and gotten a proper one, but I didn't know it, so I was like, ah, oh, sod it. Um, it does want to do all this because there's a lot of a bit of scratching stuff on the celery. <laughs> he's, he's going rotten, Doctor. Get a new one. He's got his, he's got his uh, different trousers. Look at those fancy pants trousers. Uh, I think also that maybe the lining on the jacket said to be different as well, but not really different on this one. I can't really tell. But I have got one more. He's over there. Look, point at him, Pete. Point. Shame. 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 He's really dirty. This is from Caves of Androzani with a very very dark coat and a very kind of pale lining. Now, I don't think you ever saw this figure. Um, I mean, you have seen this figure well, if you have a regenerated Sixth Doctor, but I don't think you ever had this kind of damage on the figure, but with the Fifth Doctor head. So he's, lost his, he's even lost his salary. So this is him uh, running back to the TARDIS with the cure for the was it called Toxi Spectrox Toxemia, whatever it's called? That um, uh, per him and Perry have got, but of course he just regenerates, and then he gives the dose to Perry from the. It's like the bat milk, isn't it? Is that what it is? I can't remember. I mean, I, I should because Caves of Androzani is like one. Of the, isn't that like one of the most like famous and like most loved stories out there with like City of Death and like Resurrect and like Genesis of the Daleks and Resurrection of the Daleks? It's like one of the. It's like one of the stories to watch. It's like one of the most like famous stories. So yeah, I, I like this one because it, it just looks like the painter has got on his like thumb dipped in the in ink and just went splodge. And I do like his trousers; they're so like undetailed compared to like what they should be like. Right, we're nearly there. Now this one's gonna be quite quick because it's the only sixth Doctor I've got. I don't have any sixth Doctors apart from this one. But there's not many been made because there's this one, there's the regular series twenty two one, and then there's the there's been two versions of the blue one he wears in in the real time comic. But I have none of those. I just have this one. Which is from a uh, Terror of the Vervoids, I believe, is the story, um, uh, but not really because obviously he has the really big hair he has in that story. He just has the regular hair and he's got the thing. And also the jacket isn't like pink enough. Like you pink bit, so more like magenta. And it should be like a real, real bright pink. I would like a proper Colin Baker, proper like. There's a regular Series Twenty Three one, but weird thing is with all the Series Twenty Three figures because it kept release re-releasing them. Um, a weird thing they did is they didn't paint the shirt here, the shirt bit here. Like, not the collar, the bit underneath. It would be paint the same colour as the waistcoat. It was a really weird error they had when they were making them, and they just never fixed it, with, apart from with this figure. It was really, really weird. But yeah, this is... Just, I have no, like, I have no, like, no accessory, no sonic lance or anything. I've got nothing. Nothing for Colin. Poor old Colin. Nearly at the end. Now, these are, with Umbrella, these are my only three... McCoy's is really all the McCoy's you really need because they don't really do any other ones. They haven't done like a a regeneration McCoy 
or the Curse of Fenric one um, with the with the duffel coat. It's just these three. So this is his first costume, the kind of beige from um, I think it's meant to be from um, Silver Nemesis. I think this figure is meant to be from. And a weird thing I've noticed is they don't detail the tie or the handkerchief in this figure. They detail the coat, but not them. And I have checked it with other figures from this set. What it's meant to look like, and it isn't like an error. They just didn't detail it. I don't think for whatever reason. It's really weird, but um, yeah, I do like it. So I just, it's, just, it's a nice costume. I do quite like the costume. Like I do quite like it. It's quite, quite nice. I like the little scarf. It's got this little, little watch there, and other other oh, little lovely, lovely question mark jumper. Uh, this is the from his second series. It's no, his third because he has three series, doesn't he? So this is from his final series with the brown. I do kind of prefer the brown one to be honest. Um, and this is from and just look how wrong his head looks. Why does it look so wrong? This is the other head. Like, I mean, there it looks fine. I think it's just it's like it's like low down. His eyes look so. It's just, his head looks so round. And so it looks so rotund. And I, now. Long live the king, apparently. And then the last one is uh, this this McCoy, which got re-released a few times. This is the one. It's meant to be a movie-inspired costume, um, because it isn't from the movie. Because in that in the movie, it isn't a jumper; it's a waistcoat. It doesn't have the scarf. But everything else is the right detail. Like you've even got the right kind of trousers. Which I never knew he actually had these trousers. I thought they were just kind of like black or brown. Because you don't, well, you, you, do, you don't really see, every time you see him, he's either in a really moody TARDIS or a dark San Francisco alleyway. But this is, this is, this is what they've done. I mean, this came with a dark, it was a big finish set, actually. It was from a big finish story called, um, it was like one of the Gallifrey Time War stories. And Seven Doctor isn't even in that audio story. It's just got, um, I think the main characters are like Leela and uh, Lala Ward's Ramana. Um, but, the, it, and, but and they had a Dalek from that story and they... Gave it a seventh doctor to go with it. I guess from what he could be wearing from the time. I guess it's more accurate to like what he's wearing with um. Isn't he doing some of his with um Harry Sullivan, and I think someone called Naomi something. Harry, I remember having some And this is kind of a similar costume to what he's wearing. And also, this is also what my GTA character, what my GTA character wears. His main outfit uh, is inspired by the TV movie McCoy costume with the the tie with the black and gold tie. I mean, my my one wears a, a tweed jacket um, that I got from the casino, but it's, that's what inspired the cost. The outfit was this uh, movie costume. But it's quite a nice kind of midway design between the movie and the regular. You could see him wearing it like a kind of a transitional period. He does look weird without the question marks, doesn't he? Just look quite plain. These are my eighth Doctor figures. I have more eighth Doctors than I have sixth Doctors, and there's only one costume. Only two of those costumes you see on the screen. Yes. Um, actually, I actually have two of these ones. This is the, from the movie. Actually, this is the one from the set that these two came with. And this is the original one, all the way back from 2000. Um, and you can just see how different, how more accurate this one is than uh, the old one. Because it's, it, well, it's, it's more accurate in colour. Because it was like a very dark green coat and you got the kind of rose gold waistcoat. The only you tell is, of course, they have got little kind of patterns. Which on this one, they look, they look like question marks, don't they? But they're just meant to be just like swirl. It's like I think they're meant to be like peacock feathers, I think they're meant to be. Is that focus? Can I be in focus? Please, there you go. They're kind of like question marks, but it's meant to be like um, maybe peacock feathers. But this is the figures a lot better than even the like the jack, even the trouser bit, and those lovely shoes he nicks from. Is it Grace's ex boyfriend? And he's got a Sonic, which came with uh, the eight doctors down there on the floor. It's got some, there's no detail on it, it's, it's just pure silver, but it looks cool. It's like, look. Can I, can, I, can I have the Sonic in focus, please? No? Okay, fine. Sod you, then. Uh, next one is the main Big Finish. It's called the, they call it the Big Finish Megan. So it's the one he, this is his outfit he wears in uh, Dark Eyes, Ravenous, Doom Coalition, Stranded, and all the ones after that. The thing in the new one he's doing called, like, Vanquish something, or... No, what's, what's it called? Audacity, I can't remember what it's called. He's wearing like a, he's like the movie costume, but like in blue, I think, which is cool. Might be, might be, a, might be a future figure. Um, I have like, I think about three or four of these were made at some point because there was the original one. Then there was a Big Finish exclusive Doctor Dalek two pack. Then they re-released the Doctor Dalek two packs from the Big Finish stories again in B and M's, which is the one I got. And then I got this one, which came with uh, an Doctor three pack, which came with that one there and the movie one. And the big change with this one is they really did the costume, made it a bit, made the colours a bit nicer. But they, the big thing was it nudged my camera. No, they gave him 
the satchel, the bag that he comes with, um, which is just a bag. I think it's from a primeval figure. I think it's from Connor from Primeval because Capcom used to make primeval figures back in the day. Like if you have um, a uh, if you have any of the Whitaker era companions like Graham, Yaz, and Ryan, all the bodies are from various um, what are they called primeval characters. Like like the Ryan, the bodies for the Ryan figures are from uh, Nick Cutter. I can't remember the guy who is the body for Graham, and Yaz is one of the ones for is the is the woman who's who changes when they go to a different timeline. I can't remember, but yeah, it's just, as you can see, it is just a Ninth Doctor figure, um, and also because I mean, because it's meant to be like done up, I guess the main thing is because it's meant to be done up. But I guess the coat kind of covers up the fact it isn't done up, and also kind of holds it. So this actually makes it quite because the big thing is is a V neck when it should be a. Uh, a regular t-shirt but it does it's it's still quite a nice costume now this one i love i'm not a big fan because it doesn't look very like eight doctory but this i love this this is the time war mcgam which i first saw my brain went, oh, it was a bit kind of time war victorious with the slightly different darker colors on the waistcoat and ascot tie i think it's called but i think it just looks more mcgam-esque than what he wears in the other one i know mcgam himself he likes that costume he wears it to conventions and stuff a lot but it just doesn't really fit the Doctor, really. It just doesn't seem like that Doctor's costume. Like, it doesn't fit the style. But this one I, I do love. I think it does fit with his massive, like, kind of cavalry boots. It's very... It still keeps his style, but it's a bit more kind of combat-ready, I think. Yeah, he doesn't he come with the bandolier or whatever. He isn't, he's not covered in blood. And my favourite thing he has, he has an S-belt. <laughs> I just find that quite funny. He has an S-belt. Um, he's got his little fob watch there, and the Dark Eyes began just fell over and landed on my hand. <laughs> Because Grings did also they have the same head. I quite like the yeah, uh, like the hair as well. But I just I just do like this costume. I think it's just fabulous. Um, I think also with the original one, it was the, the green of the coat was a lot brighter. This is still a green. It's more of a king color to to this one. They are very similar. Actually, I think they are the same color. It's not the same coat. No, the lapels are different. Yeah, because these have these kind of like velvety lapels. Um, which in the original one, for whatever reason, were brown. No, on the original one, they were brown. Let me just like have like a, a bottle green. I like this. So that's all of them. I'll do, I don't know when, next week or week after when I'll do a new Who one. Looking at, I've got, a, I've got all the Doctors from 9, from War to, th for, to 14, rather. So I'll look at all them. I don't know what I'll do after that. I'll probably leave it for a while until the Revelation, a Revelation set comes out and I can get, and I can do, and I'll do the Daleks. Because they'll be, the Daleks and the Titans are kind of like my passions, really. They're the ones I really love collecting. That's so cool looking. Um, so we'll, we'll do them next. So, yes, sir. So say goodbye, Paul. Wave goodbye to the viewers. Bye bye. It's my it's awful Paul again. Bro. This video of time. It's gonna be me organizing figures. Next up, we have. <laughs> Nothing happened.